Hello and welcome to an all new QuintelDesigns.com HD video tutorial. As always, I'm your host, Ryan Quintel, and today we're going to be making a military style video game logo for a video game we're making up called Final Hour 4. And um, in this tutorial, we'll show you how to make that text effect and get an overall military look and feel. Um, for use in pretty much anything you want. Uh, we're using it for a video game cover in this particular case. So, um, let's jump into Photoshop and get started. First we'll make a new document. File New. Let's give it some generic dimensions. 1000 for the width and 800 for the height. Let's call this Final Hour 4. Yeah, that's right, there's plenty of these games, they're so popular. The first thing you can do is select two dark colors, any two you want, and throw down a background. Nice little gradient background like that will do fine. Maybe even right here. Perfect. Now that you have a background, create a new layer, and we'll get... Uh, get going on making our text. Now there's a font that comes pretty standard on most computers called Stencil Standard. Stencil Standard already has pretty much the look we're going for. So when I type out here Final Hour and blow it up with Control T and holding down Shift to scale it Look here, there's final hour. We're done. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, now we want uh, to give our stenciled out, maybe military painted on text, um, the extra grit grime treatment. We're going to do that now. First, let's open up our internet browser. We're going to do an image search for Rust. This image looks like it's going to be perfect. Copy the image and paste it right into Photoshop. Now that you've pasted this into Photoshop, control and click on the layer that it was pasted into, edit, and define it as a pattern. Now let's call that Rust. Now, you should be able to delete that layer entirely. And the reason why we defined it as a pattern is when we go here to our paint bucket, we want to be able to choose pattern, and there's our rust. So when we paint that on, there it is back there, and it even looks like a plate. We'll put this on multiply mode and scale back its opacity. And that adds a little little depth, maybe a little variety to our background. Now we're actually using that for the text. So let's go into selecting our final hour layer and going to effects blending options. Our blending options palette is where all this is going to happen. First we want to bevel and emboss this text. Crank up the size, and turn it from smooth to chisel hard. You can see here that cranking up the size will make it so that these are fully chiseled out pieces of text. Now another important contour thing to remember here is anti-alias. These lines need to be smooth. You don't want to see harsh, harsh pixels uh, in this logo. It doesn't look very good. Now, we're going to add a texture to that. 
and the default texture is these bubbles, don't ask me why. And you can see you can pick our rust now from the pattern. So now this has a bumpy finish to it. Dial down the depth until it's only making small part marks in the letters, which is exactly what we want. Then we're going to give this a color overlay. Our color overlay is going to be almost a, a, a gold, if you will. Something like, yeah, khaki, that, that's actually perfect. Very military looking. We're going to give it an inner glow as well. This inner glow, first way you can switch it to multiply mode. Choose a color and pick one of the darker colors you see in the logo. This final hour here. And just go khaki, make it a really dark a darker brown. Make the size a little larger on that. And the opacity you can bring up. Good. Now we'll give this a little depth with a drop shadow. Made larger. Less opacity on that. You don't need it too harsh. We'll bring the distance out. And finally, once you have all this looking like how you want it, we're going to give it a new style. And we'll call it Final Hour Text. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to remember this in case we ever want to use it again. So now our Final Hour Text is looking pretty good. We're going to make a new type layer, put a 4 there, control T the 4, drag it out, make it big, and I like to slant it to the side. It looks a little bit better that way. Good. Final hour goes over a little bit. The 4 overlapping the R and underneath the previous layer. Once our 4 is behind that layer, 